From the question statement, we know that our circle is centered at O. So let's go ahead and write it down. We have a center at O. Uh, what else do we know? We know that UV is a tangent to the circle at P. So we have tangent as another keyword that you are interested in. We are also told that SP is equal to SR. So we have SP being equal to SR. Uh, if you look at your diagram, you're going to realize also that OP is equal to OR because they are radiuses. So OP is equal to OR. Look at the vertices of PSRQ. They lie on the circumference of the circle. So we have a cyclic quad. This is all we needed to answer all the questions that are going to follow. Let's look at 8.1.1. Uh, the question is saying, let's determine, given reasons, uh, the size of angle PSR. So PSR is this angle right here. Right, let's go ahead and look at the first keyword, center. Well, if we add the size of O1, then O1 should be two times angle PSR. But we don't have the size of angle O1, so we cannot use that to determine PSR. Tangent. This angle here should be equal to PSR, but we don't have that angle as of yet. So we cannot use that to find angle PSR. SP is equal to SR. It will be easy to find the size of that angle if, for instance, we had P4 or we had R3, right? And then OP is equal to OR. It has nothing to do with that uh, angle. And then the last keyword is cyclic quad. And as you can see, angle wqp this angle here of 106 degrees should be equal to angle psr an exterior angle of a cycle quad is equal to interior opposite so we can say that psr is equal to 106 degrees uh, that is because an exterior angle of a cycle quad is equal to interior opposite angle let's move to 8.1.2 so in 8.1.2 we're looking for the size of angle r3 we're looking for the size of angle r3 so let's replace angle psr with 106 let's replace that with 106 so we have 106 and we're looking for the angle uh, for the size of angle r3 r3 should be equals to p4 angles opposite equal size so what does that mean it means that p4 is equal to r3 let's start here first and then we can see that angles opposite equal size they should be equal to each other so now we can say that p4 plus r3 plus psr is equal to 180 degrees the sum of angles on a triangle and then p4 is r3 so we basically have 2 r3 plus psr which is 106 degrees being equal to 180 degrees so r3 is equal to 180 degrees minus 106 degrees divided by Two. And then if you put that in your calculator, you should get 37 degrees. So that is the size of angle R3 and P4 because R3 is equal to P4. Uh, let's look at uh, the question that follows P5. So we're looking for the size of angle P5. Right, let's go back to our keywords because that's the only thing uh, we're supposed to use. Uh, can we use the center to find the size of angle P5? Well, not quite. Uh, can we use the tangent? Let's go ahead and find out. Uh, we have the tan chord theorem. So angle P5 should be equal to angle R3. Angle P5 should be equal to angle R3. That is the tan chord theorem. Yeah, the angle between uh, the tangent and the chord should be equal to the angle subtended by the chord on the circumference of the circle. So 8.1.3, we see that P5 is equal to R3 because of the tan chord theorem. So P5 is actually 37 degrees. 
let's move to 8.1.4 8.1.4 uh, we're looking for the size of 01 well like we have already deduced uh, earlier in the video we have said that 01 should be equal to 2 times angle PSR yeah the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference uh, if they come from the same arc so O1 is equal to 2 multiplied by PSR so this is just 2 multiplied by 106 which is equal to 212 degrees so O1 is equal to 212 degrees uh, reason being that uh, the angle at the center is 2 times the angle of the circumference you have to give reasons for all the statements uh, you're making uh, let's look at 8.1.5 uh, so 8.1.5 we're looking for the size of angle p3 looking for the size of angle p3 yeah that will be easy to compute uh, why am i saying that uh, p3 is equal to r2 because they are all radiuses right they are all radiuses and then if we have the size of angle o1 then we have the size of this angle P O R, so we can say that P O R is equal to 360 minus 212 degrees because the angle around the point uh, is 360. That is 148 degrees. So now in triangle P O R, uh, we can say that P3 plus r2 plus 148 is equal to 180 degrees but p3 is equal to r2 so we can go ahead and say that uh, 2 p3 is equal to 180 minus 148 we divide both sides by 2 and p3 should be equal to 180 minus 148 that will be 32 divided by 2 should be 16 degrees